The Continental Unity Games of the Iglesia Crystal officially began tonight here at the San Mateo Performing Arts Center. Athletes across the United States and Canada are here tonight and have taken their oath of sportsmanship after attending a worship service of the church. These athletes will be playing in what they call a very brotherly and sisterly sports competition for the next few days. Right now, the opening ceremony where there were performances and the athletes were given reminders has just ended, and now is the press conference. With us, joining for EBC this evening is Brandon Estrella from Fairfield, California, representing the Western Region for track and field. Hi, Brandon. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> so, can you tell us um, what event in track and field you are participating in? Yeah, so I will be participating in the 400 meters, the 800 meters, and as well the 1600 meters. Wow, and so can you um, tell us how have you prepared for this event? Well, for these particular events, you have to prepare like way beforehand of the whole competition. Uh, not even one month is good enough. You have to prepare months before. So I practice Monday through Friday um, every week. Um, skip the weekends to, to train or to just to rest and um, it's a real mental thing as well as physical um, doing long distance not everybody would like to participate in that because it takes a lot of running um, whether it be like a mile or half a mile but um, I've previously done this in high school so I'm experienced and I'm ready and I'm ready. So actually going back to that, you said you did this in high school. So how long have you been doing track and field in high school? So I've been doing track and field in high school for all four years, but I've also done it two years in middle school as well. So that's a total of six years. Wow. And so can you tell me, how is it different for you participating in this in competition with members or brothers and sisters in the faith? Um, so the special thing about this is that when you participate alongside the members of the church, um, you know that you're not like really a loser at the end of the day, you know. We're doing this all for the unity and for all like the brotherhood of the whole like church, the church organization. That's what's so special about this church and that's what I adore to my heart. And what what's different uh, with high school is that um, you compete, whether it be for college, uh, whether it be um, versing your um, own teammates in school or other schools, but What's so special about this is that since it's a church activity, you know, you're doing it for God and that, that's, you're not doing it for anyone else. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. We hope for the best for you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We also have with us uh, Jules Tassis of Chicago, Hello. from Chicago, Illinois, representing the Midwest region for swimming. Yes. Hi. Hi. Nice Hello. to meet you. Um, so can you tell us what... Um, event in swimming you are participating in? I am participating in 50 and 100 meters freestyle and also individual um, medley which consists of freestyle, backstroke, butterfly and back uh, butter, uh, breaststroke. There you go. Awesome. And so how long have you or what have you done to prepare for this? Um, for the past year I've been thinking of working out and of course swimming in a public gym but um, things got pretty busy but uh, for the couple, for the past couple of months, I've been trying to uh, be consistent, be more consistent on swimming and also working out. Yeah. So. And how long was... have, like, how long was the travel to get here? And um, approximately four hours. Okay. So it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And so, aside from you know practicing on your own, did you do this before, as like, uh, like in high school or? Yes, um, I was part of the varsity team for my my uh, for New Era University. Mm -hmm. I was part of uh, the swimming club, and um, it was really fun. You know, I got to learn all the other strokes, and especially freestyle, which I'm doing oh, for nice. tomorrow. So, in comparison to those um, events that you've done outside of um, your church, can you tell us how is it different um, being able to compete against your brothers and sisters in the faith? Um, first of all, um, being having uh, sports ability is one of the um, many things that uh, people want to acquire and I'm very thankful for that and uh, having to use this for church activities is such a blessing because not only are you doing it for for the, uh, for everyone but also to especially to our Almighty God. So. And so one last question. Yeah. So of course we want to take home the title yes. but aside from taking home the title what's something that you look forward to more in this event? Oh, Of course on Sunday uh, seeing Brother Eduardo Vimanalo 
this I think that's my very topmost priority of of doing here in San Francisco for now. So awesome. Well, thank you so much, and we hope for the best for you. Thank you so much. And um, we also have with us a spectator, a very um, avid sports fan, Celine Garcia from Las Vegas, um, coming from the Midwest region. Hi. Hello. Nice to Hi. meet you. Hi. So um, I would like to ask you, um, how many weeks or how long have you been preparing for this sports event? Um, actually, I didn't even know that I was coming here. It was like a last minute thing. And the fact that the fact that everyone was coming from all different regions of the like the world is crazy because sometimes it's only like through a state or like a part of a coast, but now it's to it's a whole continent, which is amazing. And I didn't know that I was coming till last minute, and I'm really excited. I was happy that I was able to come. Awesome. And so I, you mentioned it's being the whole continent. So um, what team are you rooting for? Um, it's kind of hard because I'm from the Midwest region, but my most of my family is in the East Coast. So I'm going to cheer for both. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's good. They get your support from both sides. So um, lastly, aside from the thrill of just watching the games, especially the championships, what do you hope to um, take home with you after attending this event? Uh, I would like to take home um, the love that I've uh, I've gotten from the brethren, maybe new friends, like uh, unity, and most of all because we are also going to hear the words of God taught um, by our uh, executive minister in the church, and I would hope to inspire inspire from that from those words that I will hear from our executive minister. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, you. and we hope you enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and to explain what Unity Games is, we have here with us the minister in charge of this year's Continental Unity Games, Brother Ron Okob, minister in charge. Hello, Brother Ron. Hi. Nice to meet you. So, Brother Ron, we, can you please explain to us what is the Unity Games? The Unity Games is an activity in the Iglesia New Christ Church of Christ. We're in brethren who are maybe amateurs or even uh, professionals in certain sports. We all get together, we play several uh, different sports in the name of unity and brotherhood. Awesome. And so what makes, uh, can you give us a comparison of what's different or similar from this sporting event in comparison to others? Well, our sporting event in the Church of Christ is different because everyone who participates is already a winner. That's our belief, that's our conviction. Why? Because in the church we have teachings that we uphold, that we follow, and those are the fundamental uh, basic teachings that we uphold whenever we do games such as this. And so you kind of mentioned it already, but can you describe to us um, the type of athletes that you will be expecting to see here um, participating? Well, we have, um, we have some professionals, a lot are amateurs in sports like basketball, volleyball, bowling, tennis, uh, all the fun sports. Awesome. And can you explain to us how many teams we will be seeing? Well, we'll in, in this uh, sporting event that we're having to, uh, this week, we have six teams. Six teams that are spread over um, Canada, North America, and even as far as uh, the Pacific Islands. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. And that's truly continental. Yeah, continental <laughs> yes. unity games. <laughs> And so, aside from the sporting events, um, what other activities are lined up for the Church of Christ's 104th anniversary and the 50th in years in the West? Well, after this uh, Unity Games on uh, Sunday, we will have our special worship service officiated by our Executive Minister, uh, Brother Eduardo Vimanalo. We will have a musical program where in brethren who, are, who will be able to express their talents in singing and dancing. Uh, after, in October, we will be having uh, our, what we call the EVM Awards for In Cinema. We're in brethren who are talented in filmmaking. They will show off their talents in a friendly competition through short movies that, that will show and portray values, most especially Christian values. We have other activities lined up, like uh, Unity Games for the Kids. We have uh, Oratorio, or the Oratorio, what we call, or 
um, a symphonic activity for uh, our brothers and sisters who are into um, playing instruments uh, and many more which we will see accumulate or uh, will uh, finish in 2019. Well, thank you so much. It looks like there's thank a you. lot of activities lined up, not just for this week, yes. but for the rest of the year. Thank you. Thank you so much again. So it looks to be a very exciting couple of days. Stay tuned on Eagle News International, Eagle News Live, and EBC Sports International for more updates on this year's Continental Unity Games. Join us tomorrow for day one of the competitions. From San Mateo, California, I'm Macy Membrary, one with 25.